Hello everyone, and we get the usual dark tones of boo boo. It's <coughs> oh, oh dear me, sorry, just had to sneeze. I hope that wasn't too loud on the microphone. Uh, we're playing Scenario 9 of Episode 3 of After the Storm in Battle for Wesnoth, and this one is called Dark Depths. And we're back with Alyssa and Ilinia. We are not really trying to locate Jangor, are we? Of course we are. It's just taking us a while because he prefers to dwell in a very particular place. A place I also want you to see before confronting him. I also want to give him a while to realize his mistake in interpreting the seer's prophecy. What mistake? The seer said that on the day of the longest night, the Angel of Blood would make a hasty attempt on the life of the new Guardian of Darkness and fail. She also said that his actions would bring forth his own downfall. Of course, you don't realize it because creatures like you lose track of time underground, but the day of the longest night has been going on for more than a day already. And that is all because the new Guardian of Darkness the Seer mentioned cannot control her own powers, causing Edia to be completely shrouded in darkness for longer than it should. Jangor decided to send his beasts after Agea and your friend first, and then wait in his lair for me to go and challenge him, which would be a fairly predictable course of action for me. Or alternatively, he is waiting for Naya to rise up again so that he can attack me then. All his actions suggest he wants to subvert the prophecy but he already confronted the new Guardian of Darkness and failed to kill her. Granted, through his minions. The new Guardian of Darkness the Seer referred to is not me, it is the girl, and the longest night will not end until she can put an end to the turmoil in her own heart, figuratively speaking. How do you know all this? <laughs> Don't forget I am a Guardian of Darkness. Not the newest one, but I certainly am Merthyar's heiress. Yare's design be damned. Not only I can read into the minds of the weak, but I can also understand people's desires and motivations in general. It is possible to predict their actions in advance this way. Ah uh, well, that last part is not one of the powers of a Guardian of Darkness, strictly speaking. And unfortunately, I also suspect Jangor is already aware of our movements. Let's not make him wait more time than strictly necessary, shall we? Okay, then we have one of those very underspecified objectives. Proceed further underground. 64 turns. Um, there's a bind spell, so Alinea can't move too far away from Alyssa. They need to move together. Fire Guardians can be summoned, so it's basically like Scenario 8C. Breakdown. And let's jump straight in once I've blown my nose. Okay. Oh, we've got turrets. And we've got drones. Okay, let's have them suicide themselves onto Elissa then. Here we go. Once again, Elissa gets a level, so I can get first strike with the claw of Vervatha. That seems like it would be good, um, and I can get various Pyronoctum and Noctum upgrades. An extra Pyronoctum strike that would be pretty mighty. Um, more hit points, yeah, don't, doesn't seem crucial right now. Terror would be good because I'm going to be fighting swarms of weak, weak units. Um, Let's go for the Pyronoctum Strikes. Okay, and it's our turn. Alright, let's go kill a turret. Yep, get him with two hits of the Pyronoctum. 
We've got a matrix flow over here. Another gate. Not strong for Melissa. There we go. Let's get. Oh, that's impassable. So there's nothing else down here. So I guess we head north. And the drones are respawning. How oh, boring. But, uh, can we go there? Oh yeah, there's um, more trees. And some blood. Looks nice. Let's just have a couple. I don't want to overdo it on these guys right now. This is pointless, there's nothing there. Okay, another turret up here. Probably some more drones. Slow. Oh, you're slowed, aren't you? That's why. Principle, Alyssa is actually capable of one shotting these turrets, which is pretty incredible. Seems kind of silly to attack these trees with Alyssa. I'm gonna go for the turret instead. Oh, it's a nice rabbit war in this place.
Okay, that's all the fire guardians I can have. I do want to go and see what's up here, although I don't think it'll be the right way to go. Ooh, looks like there's something interesting there, though, does it? Um, okay, an Enforcer drone is going to come, so let's just go and, yeah. a strong showing. It's more like it. Alright, what does this do? Grants access to what? Okay, a gate all the way down there that I haven't seen yet. Where does that lead to? It's an alternative path to an elevator shaft that will take us directly to the place I previously mentioned. While I don't mind stabbing whatever stands in our way, a more direct approach, sorry, a more discreet approach will get us there faster. Uh, okay, I can start spamming Fire Guardians down that way then. someone a bit meatier to take care of that. This is a dead end. Certainly can dish out some beat down. All right. 
Ugh. Drones respawning in the north. Let's just try and get away from them. Yeah, they're not fast enough to follow me. One more in case it's useful. Alright, and the drone spawns behind in front of me. And no sooner dead than done. Anything down here? No, nope, not really. Okay, we've got ants down here. Oh, we've got two level 6 guardians floating around here, and uh, all that the universe can throw at us is ants. Interesting. Drones happily respawning, though. I don't like these guys. Okay, there's a little fiery passageway. Is there any other way through? These guys are actually pretty crummy underground. Yep, you stay back there, I don't need you. Okay, we got another storm blade.
Nothing happens. These passages have gone unused for centuries. It's no wonder that most of their mechanisms have rusted beyond use. Just blast the wall down already. Perfect. Annoyingly, all my fire guardians are very slowly following me around at this point. Like, really rather better if I could get rid of these ones at the back. I also have to wait for them to show up. Alright, we've got Psycrawlers! Back to the start. Almost. Hello, you. You're going to die. Yes, yes you are. Oh, more pathways around here. Fungus? Yeah, all the crazy things to throw at us. Anyone else back here? Oh, there's another passageway. Good, I keep exploring. Pretty poor show there from Melissa. Now she's slowed. I'm not getting much accuracy here. Okay. Some more stuff this way, so I'll send fire guardians.
Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a leader spider. Looks like we're going to lose out on a fire guardian. Before it goes, it can kill that thing. It all links up though. Let's see. At least I think it does. We'll see. Okay, this is the boss fire guardian. It's gonna need backup though. Oh! It's a Psy Mind Raider. These guys are nasty! If it wants to come out of its little hole, it can try and attack Alyssa. Not sure how far it will get with that. A wrap. Aha, another crystal. when this I bet, I bet this wall will open that's what will happen lots of inaccuracy <sighs> no one can hit this thing there we go you can't get to the place Oh, up there. Why do I want to go back there? That is not very useful. Alyssa's has got it right. Hmm. There is a hot current of air coming from another direction now. Ooh. Ah. I remember now. Okay, let's move all these fire guardians slowly through the tunnels once more. keep you alive because you're good. Oh no, you're not the good one. Okay. Get them off to maximum, that's fine. Alright, we've got some lava here. Am I going to discover a new lava walking ability? Are these folks floating anyway? Can't remember. We need to cross this inconvenient lava trench. Elinia, do your thing. My thing? You are the guardian of Earth, dear. You are supposed to do more complicated things than blasting walls and vermin. Do you really expect me to know how this works all of a sudden? I did not ask to be given this role, and all I know is that the pain has not ceased. I cannot think clearly like this. 
I really should just stab you in the chest and toss your useless bloody corpse into the lava. Keep moving. Almost got punched to death by Linear there. It's good work. Can't quite get anyone in to deal with the situation, so I guess I'll have to just sit tight. Some inaccuracy there. Okay, now we know where we're going. All these guardians gradually following. Well, that wall is not going to move by itself. I stand corrected. That was very convenient. Of course. A cunning trap by Jangor, I presume? The elevator. <laughs> Who is that? Engineer? <laughs> You're not supposed to be around these levels, Engineer. Return to your workshop immediately. I didn't listen to orders from ye anymore, which your time as the warlord ended with Lord Jangor's arrival. I believe I speak for Jangor as well when I say that you are not supposed to be here. Return to your workshop immediately or face the consequences. You'll chop me a remaining leg too, in here. Ha 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 ha. Your torture methods are as obsolete as the tech Argon used to rebuild your body. Jango released me a while ago, didn't you hear? You're free, he said. You can do anything you please, he said. And so here I am, ready to take on the two of you and all your squirming insects. Is this insubordination I hear? This is your last chance. I believe tis your last chance to run, girl. Oh God, is that? Aye, the soul hammer is made of the crystals commissioned by that wretched lich. Lord Jangor has put up many of them into good use, elf. But he didn't ken this hammer exists, or that it shall be the instrument of my revenge. Perhaps I should have named her the Destroyer of Gods. Elinia, this is extremely dangerous. Stay away from this lunatic and his hammer. You, fool. You have nab nab you have absolutely no idea with what kind of powers you are trifling. <laughs> right. So this is a unit that can kill Alyssa and Elinia. Um, we've got to stop the engineer. Alyssa and Elinia cannot damage the engineer's armor suit as it is powered by more replicas of Mothiel's heart. They must find another way to stop him. Fire guardians can be summoned. What else have we got? We've got some mechanical goliaths. Let's just check this guy out. Skirmisher. Okay. Absorb damage. Leadership. Is level 5. And he's got a ton of power. Flame, crazy flamethrower attack. Fortunately, most of my units are pretty fire resistant. I think probably... Yeah. The only real exception is Alinea herself. Seismic. Okay, splash damage to all enemy units adjacent to the target. Now 25% infl inflicting both slowed and stunned. Whoa! Alright. Let's play this cautiously then.
Alright, um, so I can't damage him directly, so is there anything else I can do? I guess I'll have to try and hold him in... I can't hold him in place because he's a skirmisher. What I can try and do... He doesn't do that much damage. I think I should try and take out these guys. They're pretty hench though. These are... wow! Okay, that's a uh, leadership effect, I assume. Gonna not allow too many of those near me, bloody hell! No point attacking you. You guys can pretty much all end up getting crushed. You're going to get flamethrowered next turn, aren't you? And then I can't do anything about it. But over here, there's probably something that can help me. Wow, you're speedy. Full. I don't really want you to flame thorough linear, but. Huh. Malin once mentioned something specific about Galas' first encounter with your mechanical automatons. And what would that be? They are particularly vulnerable in the neck region. Maybe if we could distract him, you could stab him with your weapon. That was already my plan, stupid. Just try to do your part right for once. 
Okay, backstab the engineer using the claw of Avatha while he's facing Linear. You can only backstab the engineer during your own turns on offense. Um, how do you know which way he's facing? Well, I guess he'll face me if I attack him. Done. Oops, it seems your armor suit and fancy hammer are not perfect substitutes for the power of a true guardian of darkness. Um <laughs> Okay, but but Ilinia Elissa is basically dead uh, at this point. And he's got 229 health. So he's actually now more powerful than he was before. Um I might have to reload. Well, for some reason, I'm doing minimal damage. Oh yeah, that's because this one's slowed. Ugh. You have the abscond ability. Well, it can only be killed by specific units, so she can be killed by him, so I think she probably will next turn, unfortunately. Not much I can do about that. Even with our greater experience, this is hopeless. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to replay the whole scenario, so I'm just going back to the beginning of the boss fight. And uh, now that I know the incredibly random way in which you're supposed to win this scenario, I will just keep everyone away from the boss for like three turns until I, until Elisa until Alinea gives the uh, the go ahead. So how far back am I going? Um, so it's turn 30. Further than that. Um, turn 31. Further than that. Turn 32. Further than that. It doesn't take long for people to get obliterated by this All right, try the new strategy. New strategy is run over here. guys try and block. And even this guy can't get through as it stands. All 
Alright, um, how far into a corner do we want to back ourselves? If we, if we completely surround this guy, he shouldn't be able to get to Alyssa or Alinea. Can't quite do that with the troops that we have available to us. You can get out and attack a listen in linear, of course. And you probably will, knowing my luck, so let's get you into a slightly better defensive position. You're the slightly weaker of the two, so you go up there. All around. Okay, here we go again, blah, 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 blah. And now I have to backstab him using the Claw of Avatha while he is facing Illinia. Done. Oops, it seems your arm is suit and fancy hammer are not perfect substitutes for the power of a true guardian of darkness. Alright, now I've got to be careful. And once again he gets a power up when that, when that happens, but at least now... Dang it, I was hoping you'd kill that one, then I could summon a new one. I'll do the same with this one, who's been slowed. Good. Let's try with another one. Again, that one's not dead, which is frustrating. taking substantial retaliation damage now, when I hit anyway. Mm. 
cutting through these um, fire guardians like a hot knife through butter at the moment. Um, let's get the slow in with the linear again, if we can. Very much summoning a fire guardian there. Get one here. Can only summon them adjacent to Alyssa, so I need to be a bit careful. Um, just going to step out for a moment. looking in a bit of trouble here. Hopefully they'll go for the wiki units first. Gah! They slowed a linear. They slowed Alyssa, rather. Okay, I can't get in for the slow this time, that's bad. Gonna have to do what I can. Some sort of. I wonder if there's if there's an effect in place that he has to be killed by one of the one of the leaders. Well, Alyssa is not up to the task. In fact, she could very very easily get killed next turn. So let's just slow this guy. Summon another fire guardian. Can't get any more because I don't have the space. Um, let's just see what happens. Um, you can range attack this guy. Actually, should I even bother? If I do that, someone tougher is just going to go in and fight. Oh, these guys can't kill her! They can't kill her because she's a guardian. On the other hand, no one can now get in. Um... Let's 
So this is pretty much all over. I can damage him, I just had terribly bad luck last time. <laughs> That's a bit tragic, and he's on full health now. Oh yes, that's just the right time for an after maximum level. Um, what's the abattoir special? Do I even know what that does? Okay, 50% splash damage to all non-leader enemy units adjacent to the target. What about Shockwave? 25% splash damage. These are all good. Let's have the Terror ability, because that's going to make all these other units weaker. And I could do with a list of surviving. On the other hand, now my concern is Alinea getting killed. At least the boss man won't be able to do it himself. Ooh, boss suicide. Elinia, grab my hand. I did not know where I was. The last thing I could recall was the chamber floor collapsing due to the energy released from the dwarf's fractured hammer. My neck felt cold and sticky. It was blood. I must have smashed my head during the fall. And yet, I was standing there as though my body had healed itself from the otherwise fatal injury. I glanced at my surroundings. Elissa? The demoness was lying on the humid cavern floor, inert as a rock. She did not seem injured, but neither did she draw breath. I did not know at first what to make of the situation. I laid a hand on her forehead and attempted to peer into her mind to see whether she was still alive. However, all I could see through her frozen eyes was a series of incomprehensible white glyphs on a blue background, interspersed with an alien and yet somehow familiar language. Knowing she was a hybrid life form, the evidence I gathered was useless. She could be alive, or she could be dead. And not too far from her was the weapon she called the Claw of, of Arthur. My master's staff, first corrupted by the heart of a gatekeeper, the artifact we used to call the Ruby of Fire, and now by the malignant touch of Murthyar's successor. I felt compelled to grab the weapon and leave the demoness behind. But I had to ponder my possibilities first. You could come back to life the moment I laid my hands on it and destroy me. Or she could stay as a dormant machine, and I would just abandon her and return to the surface with Anya and Agea. A third alternative then occurred to me. I could grab the claw and destroy the creature in her sleep. I spent some amount of time contemplating that tempting alternative. Suddenly, the thought of becoming a cold-blooded murderer horrified me. No, no, I would not give in to such terrifying ideas. No, that was not me. That was not the elf who was raised by Nirjone to protect the peoples of Erdia. No. Between tears, I could catch a glimpse of light coming from around a corner. A conspicuous corridor leading somewhere brightly illuminated. The walls were decorated with peculiar engravings. I was compelled to follow, with my captor completely incapacitated to exert any kind of magic control over me. I could once again move with absolute freedom. All right, exploring. And I've got uh, no turn limits, and I can move around as much as I like. Okay, long corridor.
The ceiling lights formed a familiar shape in the floor, the sigil of the first guardian of Earth, Yael, or at least as it was depicted in Argan's journal. An odd sense of comfort suddenly came to me, felt for once as though I was finally at home. If Elissa spoke the truth, this was my destiny all along. I was meant to be the guardian of Earth on Ergia, and I was meant to keep my world and my people from harm. From Elissa, from Argan, from Jangor, from Uriah, from myself. And I had failed. I had failed them all. I grew up ignorant of my true purpose, focusing only on mundane problems. Selfishly centered on my own needs and desires for the most part. I allowed Irgia's terrible fate to come to pass. The destruction of many civilizations. The deaths of millions. Weren't guardians created to protect their worlds? I let myself collapse on the floor and cried. I needed to cry after Galas' death. I needed to cry after losing Malin. But I resisted the emotion for so long because I didn't want anyone to know I was weak inside. But then I was home at last, alone. Nobody would know. So I cried. I wished Anya could be with me, but she did not know where I was, and I did not even know whether she was still alive. And even if she was, it would only be a matter of time until Jongor solved the seer's riddle and killed the girl. Home. There, there. You have not failed yet, my love. There are still things left to do. Argan? Oh, I must have really lost it now. I am here. Don't you feel me? Is this a dream? Is it? I feel you. I feel your warm touch again. But how? Because you wished for my return. All these years. I did. I miss you, Elinia. I... I did too. Oh, I... We don't have much time left, my love. Erdia is in ruins now, and Jango could find us any moment now. You need to get up. Yes. I let my lips approach his own, as we embraced like we had not for an eternity. He felt so delightfully real, I was willing to give in to our carnal urges. But... Is there something wrong, my love? I feel strange. This is the point where you remember that Jankur is a shapeshifter. My heart... It hurts. That must be because you have spent too much time scurrying around. Just let yourself relax for a moment. We can reminisce about better times together. You don't sound like yourself. My head. My, my memories have become so hazy. But I, I remember that sword. Elissa has your sword. Elinia, please, just... Hello? <laughs> Jango. How? Oh. Your act seems pretty cheap in retrospect. I cannot say I am completely disappointed, though. It was absolutely amusing to watch you attempt to... Uh, <laughs> handle the poor broken health, but did you truly think it would work out? 
I am not precisely myself, though. But your death... But your guess was close enough. Congratulations, Guardian of Darkness. So, the rumors are true after all. You go around possessing other creatures using your disgusting body ooze. You were going to possess me. Or steal your aspect through your currently vulnerable energy heart. Either outcome would have been advantageous for me, but no, it would seem you will both have to die instead. Not if I can kill you first. All right, defeat Django's Deathbringer is the objective. Um, Deathbringer's spear allows it to destroy the energy heart of a guardian. Fire guardians can be summoned by right-clicking on a vacant haste ad hex adjacent to Alyssa. You can only have six fire guardians on the map at any given time. Okay, this guy is nasty. Level six, uh, Deathbringer Alpha. Um, what does it mean, Alpha? Um, nothing much. It's got leadership, so it means these drones around it are going to be a bit scarier. Um, and it's got an RC Arcane Magical Bloodstorm attack and a melee Arcane Marksman attack. Normally in this circumstance it would seem like melee was the right option, but I'm actually not convinced. Okay, so how to play this? Um, let's just save. Because I don't suppose I'll be able to do I'm not usually very good at doing these boss fights in one go. Um, we've got some assault drones, we've got some protect two protector drones, lots of assault drones. Um, you are not, however, one thing that you are very much not is a person who can skirmish, so I can try and block these guys in a bit with cunningly placed fire guardians. attack. Hmm. I'll take less damage in melee and I will get to Claw of Avatha, but I won't kill. And it's got it's got the final attack. I'm just gonna not attack this turn. Linear you come around here. Okay, so only this one assault drone can reach round. Well, I'm going to have to kill these guys eventually, so maybe I should just go for it. Well, I just don't feel like taking 60 damage. Um, not yet. Oh, okay. Random drones being summoned on the walls. Hurt. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Mm. The Deathbringer is a little bit beaten up. Um, these weak units are extremely poor against the Deathbringer. Should just get you out of here. Can I pull back to the wall and then... Yeah, use the structure of the chamber. might not be a good long-term strategy because I can't summon as many fire guardians this way but maybe I'll find a way around it. Some of these drones are out of range now, others, this one should just get killed. Get some hits in. Goodness sake. Mm, oh dear. Ow! Okay, this may not be the victorious victory I was hoping for. The drones at least are starting to get weakened though. Ah, perfect. Okay. Feels like this is a good time to get some hit point plus 10. Such an incompetent fool. I should have known she would be useless in the end. Okay, I'm gonna need a different tactic for this one. Running away and hiding in the corner is clearly not the right strategy. Let's try and tag team these drones one by one. Oh, there's so much damage though. Absolutely insane amounts of damage that these guys deal. These guys don't deal as much. Alright, one down. The linear can't get around there.
I should have been, again, I, I do need to be careful, I do need to be cunning with Alyssa's placement of units. I can't just afford to... Well, let's try that again. In general, as long as they're not fighting the fire guardians, as long as they are fighting the fire guardians, Get the ones that aren't next to the boss man. Nice work. Try and protect Elis. A bit. I do need to get rid of the weak drones before I can do anything much else. Four drones left, and they're all weakened. Ah, oh, they keep. Ah! guys didn't spawn before. Um, okay, they're feeding. They've got an 80 damage concussion beam, and they've got movement of 6. Um, all I can really do is run away from them. Maybe I can...
you guys are absolutely hopeless against this Deathbringer. To very much block these guys off from attacking either Alicia or Elin uh, Elissa or Elinia. How many more of these guys can I summon? Two. Okay. Well, then I can afford to put one here. I block the Deathbringers, but they can one-shot these Fire Guardians, so no breath holding. Okay, we're doing alright. Oh, don't die, don't die. Oh, you died. Alright, now I get Deathbringered. Ah, oh, but you didn't die because these normal Deathbringers can't kill a Guardian. Alright, the Deathbringer's on 16 health. So it's basically up to Alinea to get a hit in out of these three. Goodbye, Deathbringer Alpha. Okay, second time round, that wasn't too bad. Is that? Okay. <laughs> Current objective, no objectives available. Defeat death of a linear, death of a linear, death of a linear, death of a linear. Um, a linear is here. A linear didn't get her after maximum level. She didn't seem to kill it. So let's explore. Turn 1024. Ooh, turn 1023. I've got some green light. And some sounds of life. Hello? Back from Philidor's class early. He twisted his ankle yesterday morning while hunting with Seren, so he let us go after a short round of questions. Ah, figures. At least that means we can enjoy a nice midday meal together for a change. Sure, that would be great. I'm starving. Don't come with me. It's too dangerous. Huh? Weird. As a lower level unit under your control, Elena has no special after maximum level advancements. You can learn more about those by weird symbols. Nothing interesting here. Is 
This is quite laggy, this area, probably because of the sound effects. Whoa, the lag. Neary, where did you go? You are hurting me. Okay, final objective, death of Alinea, defeat death of Alinea. No, it's Alinea. Alinea, 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 Alinea. Don't you realize that he will murder them all if you continue this pointless crusade of yours? Just leave them be, please. Don't you dare speak in that tone to me, foul priestess. You should be grateful we do not cut your tongue off for your insolence. Gods, escort her out, now. Enemy units sighted. Oh, we got some elves. They're going to come try and beat me up. <laughs> Look at these attacks. We're an Etheri Harlot of level 2. Um, attacks 8-3 Selfish. Um, melee Impact and 17-4 Arrogant Ranged Arcane Traitor. The Weapon Special Traitor doesn't seem to do anything much. Um, okay, let's see. Well, these guys aren't attacking me. I can't go into the forest. Maybe they'll attack me now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the Lady of Light and the Master of Darkness must die. Stop! Why are you doing this? I do not suppose I can convince you to abandon them now, after so long. Am I right? Of course not. Then... We shall do this together. Together. Follow down the path. Skellingtons. Oh, and some chaos. Do you think our people will ever find peace again in the near? Hi. This this is Alinea's most common line. I dot dot dot. I've said this so many times over the course of the two campaigns. It doesn't matter now, I guess. And Galas is helpless. It says attacks you did nothing to save him. Because I am dead. And these are Argan attacks. What is this place? Something feels amiss. Yeah, no shit. Elinia, oh, I'm so glad I could finally find you. Come with me, this way, quickly. Okay, kill Argan, the Master of Darkness, and put an end to his sinister rule over Erdia. Previous objectives. Not any useful notes. My hair gets so messy with all the wind in this desert. It's almost tempting to shave it. Do you think I would look too weird if I did that? Did we... Didn't we have this conversation already? I'm just concerned that you might not like it if I do that. Your hair is always so fluffy and nice and beautiful. Okay, um, Anya has the description foolish girl and the attack's naive, love struck, and cannot admit it. All right, that is not something I recall you saying. And uh, this is this is interesting. We've got uh, Elinia's now a murderer. Uh, and a monster uh, has an Argan's blood everywhere attack, Argan's flesh rotting attack, and Argan's bones charred attack. You promised. You promised. I must find Alyssa. She must be here, somewhere. Okay, and our defeat condition is Elinia. Okay, we got Shaxal Cave ambient noises. Did you know that this entire land used to be a huge empire? Oh, 
Ooh, weird terrain. But Alinea seems to have her mojo back at least. Let's go into this underground snowing lava place. You're asking too much from me to confront a goddess who has accrued enough power to wipe out an entire world. I understand. Snow. You betray me. Argan! No! No! This can't be happening! You can't be doing this! I'm trying to heal you! Don't you see? I... Why don't you say anything? Argan! Oh God, no! Elissa? You killed him! Elissa, I... Why? Why do you have to show me this again? Why? Why couldn't you save him instead? Why? You are a disgrace to your sad excuse of a civilization. Stop it, please. Jungle is attempting to control you. Nobody can control me. Please. I know you. I know you loved Argan too. He wanted you to find me and guide me, didn't he? You, you are not me. Why am I crying? Are these my own tears? Try to remember that you, that I was once human. No, no. Uriah demanded I kill them. It was, it was never my intention. Please. Django is trying to make us lose control. Now that I have failed, there's no purpose left for me. He is trying to take us both at once, using the powers of the gatekeeper. Why? Why did you bring me back to life? Why? You have allowed others to distort your identity. A greater cause, one that transcends the fate of Erdia. Take the scepter of fire and wield it against our enemies. He is using the powers of the gatekeeper of Yavatha to tear into our minds. I should have known that he would try to do this. Elenia, grab my hand. For a moment, I could not tell our memories and emotions apart. For a moment, I saw the fear in the demoness subconscious. I saw her fear of Uriah, her fear of the many creatures she had tortured and slain, both under Uriah's command and of her own volition. I felt her suffering at the hands of Argan's men before he rescued her from her, their cruelty. I saw her wandering the sands before her capture. I saw through the invisible mask she had worn all this time to protect her fragile self from the corruption rooted deep within the energy hearts of our kind. I saw that, despite her claims to the contrary, he was human. 
and despite living for longer than any elf on Erdia, he was still just a girl, forced by Argan and Uriah to live a life she did not want, a life she could not end on her own, the fear of ceasing to exist forever. I saw one of her nightmares, one in which she is alone, wandering in endless void with nothing in sight but a tree above, a broken tree in flames. But it was a tree unlike any other I have never seen. Don't you see? We aren't that different after all. Why did you not kill me? Because Argan asked me to help you. I could restrain myself no longer. With tears in my eyes, I laughed maniacally like I never had before. Was that my own emotion or Elissa's? Did it actually matter? There was only one thing I knew for sure. Balance, Anninde and Malkashar woke me to save Erdia from Uriah's corrupting influence. Their lives were cut short not by Elissa, but by the broken creature into which Uriah turned her. I gave Ergea a chance because that is what my friends would have done, and she led me to Elissa. If fate, di fate dictates we join forces in spite of our mutual hatred, then so be it. No one on Erdia will ever see peace again, for as long as Shango and Uriah exist, no matter the consequences, no matter who is at my side, I will confront those two. Uriah has to be stopped. And there we are. That's the end of episode three, scenario nine. Powerful stuff. Powerful narrative weird stuff. And we're now at scenario 10, Blood. But that is where I'm going to pause. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.